In this video, I'm going to ask a simple question. Is MFCC a good feature to use for machine learning if you intend to recreate the audio based upon uh, some kind of extraction of those features later on down the line throughout the process? MFCC audio features can be extracted from raw wave files using the Librosa library. I've used MFCC successfully in past experiments to categorize labeled sound files. Now I'm working on generative problems and reversing features that I use during training of my model to produce new audio fragments. In this notebook, I ran a short test to troubleshoot an issue I was having in a more complicated notebook. Here I simply load a WAV file, graph it, and play back the audio. And it sounds like this. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. In duplicating my problem steps, I extracted the MFCC features and then normalized the result using standard scalar. I then reversed the process. And we listen to it, we get this result. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. Now, to me, that sounds a bit like a Dalek. And that's not exactly what we were hoping for. So I did a bit of digging around, and I found this comment on the Librosa issues page on GitHub. And when this question was posed to someone, they answered, the short answer here is that you are not going to get a good reconstruction from MFCCs for two reasons. MFCCs discard a lot of information by a low-rank linear projection of the MEL spectrum. An MFCC representation with, and it gives some values, is analogous to a JPEG image with a quality set to 30%. You lose phase information, and that's exactly what it sounds like when we hear this audio. So to answer the general question, uh, is this going to be a good solution for me? Uh, no, not really. Not for generative audio.